In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it when games or applications aren't loading on your Amazon Fire TV. So they'll just be gray spots where you can still select them and use them, but it just doesn't look good. So to fix this, first we're going to go to the settings cogwheel. Next, we're going to go to account and profile settings. From here, we're going to go to sync Amazon content and press select a couple times. Now, some people on Reddit have said that this helped them. It's not guaranteed to work, but it's worth trying. Now, if you're still seeing issues, what you wanna do next is go to applications. And from here, we're gonna scroll down and go to manage installed applications. And while you're here, also have a look at your internal space because if, there's, if it's pretty much full, this can oftentimes cause issues. So we're gonna be clearing a little bit of space. So for all of these applications you see, you wanna press the rewind button and then we're going to, so we'll press rewind first, and then we're gonna clear the cache on these. So press select, and we're gonna go through all of them. It really doesn't take that long, and it's going to clear up space on your Amazon Fire TV, which may fix the issue. So once you've gone through all of them, again, it really only takes like a minute or two, you can go back to the home menu now, and we're gonna see if it fixes the issue. Now, I don't have the issue, but I had it yesterday, and going through these steps fixed it. Now, once you've done that, the next thing I recommend you try is go to network. So let's go there. Now, here's the thing. I have fast internet, 100 megabytes down and 30 up. So there should be no issues with using apps on this TV. But yesterday, this was the troubleshooting thing that actually fixed it. So I used a wired connection rather than wireless and it immediately fixed the issue. So I recommend you try that and if you can't, I recommend you press the play button and pause button on your controller. This is going to bring up the speed test. This works for both wired as well as wireless connections. And have a go and see if there's anything wrong on your wireless end as well as your wired end. But for me, this is what actually fixed it. Now, if you're still having problems, you know it's not your network, maybe you're using a wired connection and you're still having issues. The next thing I recommend you try is go to device and software. Now we're going to go to restart your Fire TV, and sometimes this can fix the issue, as well as also power cycling. So turning it off with your power button, unplugging your TV from the electrical outlet and waiting about 60 seconds, plugging it back in, starting it back up again, and seeing if the apps load. Now if that doesn't work, you know, your network hasn't fixed it, syncing the content, all of these other things I've mentioned, then you may have to reset to factory defaults, which is going to remove all personal data and downloaded content from your TV. So you're going to need all of your sign-in information for your applications, as well as your Amazon account. It's pretty much starting fresh. Now, this is the last resort. If you want to do this, go ahead, press select and go through that process. Um, but just bear in mind that, yeah, this is uh, quite extreme. And I recommend you try all these other steps first before going through with that route. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.